What software do you use for sheet metal design? I am proficient in CAD software like SolidWorks, AutoCAD, or CATIA for creating detailed sheet metal designs. Can you explain the difference between bend allowance and bend deduction? Bend allowance is the amount of material consumed by the bend, while bend deduction is the amount subtracted from the total flat length to calculate the flat pattern. How do you determine the bend radius for a specific material and thickness? The bend radius is typically determined based on the material's thickness, with a general rule being to use a radius equal to the material thickness to avoid cracking or deformation. What are some common methods for joining sheet metal parts? Common methods include welding, riveting, adhesive bonding, and using mechanical fasteners such as screws or bolts. How do you ensure manufacturability and cost-effectiveness in sheet metal designs? I focus on designing parts with minimal complexity, optimizing for standard tooling and manufacturing processes, and considering material utilization to reduce waste and cost. What factors do you consider when selecting a material for a sheet metal component? I consider factors such as mechanical properties, corrosion resistance, formability, cost, and the specific requirements of the application. How do you handle tolerance and fit considerations in sheet metal design? I design parts with appropriate tolerances to ensure proper fit and function, considering factors such as assembly requirements, material variations, and manufacturing capabilities. Can you explain the concept of nesting in sheet metal fabrication? Nesting involves arranging multiple parts on a sheet of metal to optimize material usage and minimize waste during the cutting process, often done using specialized software. What are some common challenges you've faced in sheet metal design projects, and how did you overcome them? Common challenges include achieving tight tolerances, dealing with springback during bending, and optimizing designs for manufacturability. I overcome these challenges through iterative design refinement, collaboration with manufacturing teams, and leveraging simulation tools to predict and mitigate potential issues. Can you walk me through your approach to designing a complex sheet metal assembly? I start by understanding the functional requirements and constraints, then create detailed sketches and 3D models to visualize the assembly. I iteratively refine the design, considering factors such as ease of assembly, manufacturability, and cost effectiveness, and validate the design through prototyping and simulation before finalizing it for production.